A 3 0 win for Yakers Nashen. That performance had absolutely everything, didn't it? It did, yeah. Um, you know, just first of all, delighted for the lads, really. Um, everything we've worked on since that Gloucester game sort of came off today. Um, I think the defensive shape has been better over the coming, over the weeks, sorry. Um, we were better against Southport, better against Kidderminster, and then today we get a clean sheet. And, um, we worked a lot on attack and play um, this week in training. Um, it's nice to see it pay off. Yeah, you see a group of lads that, that really worked hard for the, for the team there and they have been sort of questioned in, in recent weeks. Yeah, no, look, I, I said it um, in an interview the other day. Um, these lads won't ever lose games through lack of effort. Um, have we got the, the most money in the league and the best squad in the league? No, we haven't. But we've got a, a group of players who who will run through brick walls and, and, and graft hard and I think you've seen that today. Three subs who come on work really hard. Um, everybody contributed and um, I think you just see the difference in having a goal threat when, when you've got Paul Black at the top. Three goals now he's scored from just pure hard work. Um, he's closed the keeper down twice and got a goal and he's just took it off centre half and, and stroked it in. So it's not luck, um, it's hard work, endeavour and he just provides a goal threat and I'm delighted for him. Yeah, Blackhead obviously got two goals today, but you can't really put the man in the match out there, can you? Because, as I say, 1-11, the lads were absolutely excellent. No, they were, and I said to them there, look, it was um, it's a 3-0 win, and, you know, the clean... I said I was just as pleased with the clean sheet as I was with the, the three goals, um, but they haven't just strolled through uh, a 3-0 win. You know, the amount of balls we had to we had to defend in the box, Matty Ellis and Aaron Cunningham, heading balls out second half, you know, they chucked the kitchen sink at us, but um, we stood firm, um, we hit the post and the bar as well, um, I know there's been a big issue of uh, people saying we don't get enough shots on, on goal, um, still don't think we got enough today, but uh, if that's going to be our conversion rate every week, then I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, first goal came from a, from a well work set piece, is that something you've been looking at as well, as well as obviously testing the goalkeeper more? Yeah, we've just sort of said that um, set players are massive in any division, um, and I spoke last week, you know, about the, the delivery Michael Kane puts in, um, and we we get into a good area, try to get across in, win a corner from it, and then score from the corner. So by being positive, we get the, the chance to go and score, and we do. Um, and then obviously the the second goal is it is typical of something we worked on on Thursday. We worked on winning the ball in the middle third, and how we were going to break out and what we were going to do. And uh, Michael Kane. Excellent press. Um, ball goes out to Callum Guy, who drives in and just slips Blackett in. Who, once he's in that position, he's very rarely going to miss it. Yeah, how pleasing it to see the work that you've worked on over the last few weeks on the defensive play and then the attacking play coming to coming to shape the day. Yeah, that's what I said to the lads. Um, the wind's very pleasing. The clean sheets um, very pleasing as well. But the fact that they're actually taking things on board and, and what we're working on in training um, pleases myself and Mickey. Um, but hopefully it will have a positive effect on them in terms of them seeing the sessions we're putting on or transferring onto the pitch and we actually know what we're talking about. So, um, no, I'm delighted for them. It's Look, it's one win. That's all it is. We can't get carried away. Um, we've got to follow it up and, and try and get a bit of momentum. But um, I've told them that they've got to enjoy it. They've got to told them to get the music on in the changing room and, and, and enjoy that winning feeling. And, you know, the more you enjoy it, the more you want it. Um, and hopefully they'll have that feeling on Tuesday as well. And just a word on, on Brad Young, obviously he had a difficult start with the goals conceded, but he was, as, as the defence was great, but you know when he was called upon, he was he was there for it. Yeah, he was. Um, I think he made more saves with his feet than his hands today. <laughs> he saved a few of his feet, but um, one of the things we spoke about in the, in the changing room afterwards was um, we could hear him. We could hear him organising, we could hear him shouting at people, um, and that's what you want. And that willingness and that drive to, to keep the clean sheet, you know, for the... For the full team, but for the keeper in the back four, that's that's what you want. Um, you want to keep clean sheets, and when you've got a goal threat like Blackett up front, then uh, hopefully you'll win more games than you lose. Thank you very much. Cheers.